Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. I got inspired by other artists like Nicole Spore, seeing her use felt with die cuts, so I thought I'd give it a try and it works beautifully. Here's the card I'll be showing you how to make today. I'll be starting with this Sizzix set called Winter Leaves. It's got several dies in there, these Distress Inks. And to begin with, my card base is 5 by 7 inches and I need to splatter the front and set that off to dry a little bit. To do that, you just smush a little bit of each one of these ink pads onto a tile. I have a remnant of a tile here. You could also use a glass surface, anything that's not porous, non-porous. So just get you a little ink. You don't need a lot. We're just going to create some splatters here onto our card front. I've taped that a little bit so it doesn't open and go on the inside of my card. This is just an old paper box that I have sitting around and I use this for uh, spray adhesives and splatters and everything. So just get you an old box, add a little water to the ink, and the finer your brush, the finer your little splatters will be. The bigger your brush, the bigger your splatters. So just do what appeals to you. Get your several colors here. I'm just using some fall colors and adding the splashes here to the base of my card. This is going to be a really simple card this week. You can see you've got splatters. The main attraction is going to be those felt die cut leaves. So there's not a lot that I'll be doing to this card today. The leaves will be the star of the show. All right, so let's move on to the fun part. So here's some felt from Hobby Lobby. These are nine by 12 inch rectangles and they're actually cheaper than paper, folks. And they come in so many different colors. Now this is a little bit of a finer layer of felt. So when I go to die cut these using my regular you know, Sizzix die cutting machine, I want to add a little shim. And I just folded some scrap paper into several, folded it over onto itself several times. It's like a four ply thickness there. And I'm going to add that on top of the die. So the die is facing down over the felt and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine just a couple of times. And that little shim will help make sure it cuts through that layer of felt. And look, I don't know if you can see this up close, but it even embosses the veining. So what a wonderful little trick here using felt. So I off camera cut all these different colors of leaves and then I'm going to try to do a little organic pattern here with some jute. There's no right or wrong, I just plan on doing a layer of these leaves going on the diagonal. So I'm going to use a little hot glue which dries quicker than other types of adhesive. So that's why I'm using the hot glue here with the jute and I decided to go ahead and use it with the felt as well because I didn't want the liquid adhesive to leave spots on my felt. And I mean, this is just trial and error, so using the hot glue behind those leaves, you will see it does not leave any type of residue or change the color of the felt um, because of the liquid, like from an adhesive. That may have left a spot. I'm not sure if it would or not. I didn't try it. I just kept going with my hot glue gun. I had it plugged in. It was working great. So everything that I've done on the card today is using the hot glue. Now again, there's no rhyme or reason here to this jute. Just getting it put down so that I can start adding those leaves. Now here is a plus of using the hot glue as well. It's going to give you little dimension. Just very little. It should not add bulk, you know, for mailing purposes. But it will give your leaves a little dimension. And the other tip I'm going to share with you is that when I applied this glue to the back of my leaves, I just applied it right there at the base, like at the top of each leaf, because I wanted to leave the ends a little bit loose. So as I'm going through, I'm doing this on a whim, right? Don't know what I'm doing. 
just going for it. And I that's why I wanted to leave the ends loose because I'm going to tuck the other leaves up under the previous leaves, if that makes sense. Anyway, just kind of have fun with this. Again, like I always repeat, there's no right or wrong to art. If you enjoy what you're doing, then, then it's a win, right? So now visually, I'm just taking a look at my five colors I've got here. And this brown is such a deep, dark brown, I didn't want to add too much of that. So I'm just going to accent with the brown. Now this one actually fell apart from my die, and that's okay, because that gave me an idea. Why can't I cut these apart if I want to? And just use pieces and parts here and there to fill in. So kind of like arranging flowers, what looks appealing to you? And kind of try to spread that color out across your design to just give it more interest. So I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to go back through using all of those colors and try to get those dispersed out so that it's visually appealing. And after I got my base number of leaves on there you can see I'm cutting apart several of the other ones just to get them to fit here and there and add the colors across this diagonal design. I just this was so much fun it gives you a different look and feel to your cards because of course the texture from the felt is very inviting the colors are so vibrant and then of course you have just that little bit of added dimension by using the hot glue with the felt leaves and those are really going to stay with that hot glue so you'll be in good shape if you use the hot glue here I mean try whatever you've got but this worked well for me so I thought I'd share this with you today okay I thought about cutting some of this out of my video but I wanted to show you as I went along this is just how I work on my design I go back after I've had a couple of layers there and and look at how my colors are dispersed and if I need to add, I add. And I'm going to try to cover up some of those glue splotches that came in there. Those are hard to get up sometimes. We'll just use a leaf to do that. Just do whatever appeals to you and it will turn out just fine. I hate all this spidery stuff that comes off of the hot glue. I just hate that, but that's part of using hot glue, so just go back and rub that off when you're through with your design and get rid of that. Now if somebody could come up with a new invention where it wouldn't leave these little spider webs after you use your hot glue, that would be great. I don't know what that solution would look like, but I would certainly go for it. Just leave such stringy stuff all the time. Anyway, so moving on, I cut the word fall using my Cricut. This is at two inches. And I cut that three times so that it would have some substance to it. I want it to be more like a chipboard effect here. Plus, gluing this over those leaves, it had to be fairly sturdy. So that's why I cut it three times, glued those words together, and it gave me a really nice finish for this word fall. I'm going to get those glued right over the leaves. I have to hold this down just a bit to let it cool as I'm working. And that pretty much finishes up my card for today. This was so much fun. I thought of doing a wreath but these leaves were a little too large so I might try that later with a smaller die set to see about doing a wreath with these leaves. Anyway, I hope you get inspired to take a look at some of your dyes and see if there's anything you would like to do with felt. Again, I invite you to go visit Nicole Spohr, S-P-O-H-R. She's on YouTube and she has some great videos using felt for ornaments. As she shows how to use the dyes to make your own ornaments. 
So such a clever idea. Thank you for sharing that, Nicole. You inspired me to do this card. I hope that you will come back and visit me again next week. Leave me some comments. Thank you for everybody who follows me. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you again next week. Happy crafting, everyone.